Hey, I'm back. This is Chandler for Melda Production, and today I want to show you how you can use M Spectral Dynamics to tame resonances and bring down some harshness in your mix or individual instruments. So, as I said, we're going to be using M Spectral Dynamics. I showed how to do this for DSing, but this is actually very similar. What we're going to do is we're just going to add an instance here, like this. Let's just turn this off for a while and let's hear what this mix sounds like. Now I might think like that has some harsh symbols, especially as we get here like closer to the chorus. Okay. I should have left the limiter on, it's clipping a little bit, but hopefully you get the idea. And what we're gonna do is just bring those down. Let me put the limiter on here, unbypass this, and we can use one of these, but I think it's actually better if we go into the edit and just use default, and I'll show you how to do it. There's a few ways we can do it. One way we can do it is using the slope. As it is now, it should actually take down some of uh, the peaks here, but by using the slope, this will change the actual threshold hold slope here. So as it is now, it should be up slightly, but or actually down slightly, but we can adjust it. So I'm gonna play it, and actually another thing we should do is turn down the attack. So for the lower frequencies, having a longer attack will help get those frequencies through, but for the higher frequencies, uh, since they're so fast, you might wanna bring that down and bring the RMS length down too. The release I can kind of leave here. So let's just play it with this on, hear what it sounds like. Now, as you see now, it's mostly affecting the low end. It's doing a little bit on the high end, but let's adjust the slope and see what happens. Now, as you can see, it seems like it turned it down, but it actually didn't. What it's doing is it's making a slope like this. So the high end is affected more and the low end is affected less. And we might want to turn the threshold down for this. But as you can hear, there's a really big difference in the input and output. So let's use the set feature to get these closer in volume. So as you can hear, that actually did seem like it almost brought out the lows, but what it's actually doing is cutting down some of the harshness on the high end. But you might be thinking, okay, well, doing this is, you know, bringing it down, but it's not really what I want. I want to really target those frequencies. So let's start with another default. Again, we're going to leave the slope there. What we're going to do now is do the same thing. Just lower this attack, lower the RMS. Uh, I'll leave this here for now. And what we're going to do is actually use this threshold button here. So using this, you see this moves up and down, but we can actually edit this. So what I might want to do is just add a node in here by double clicking, and then we can start moving this down. So that way we can really hone in on these frequencies and we can move this across or wherever to define where we want it to start working. So maybe I want like maybe a little bit above 2000, I want it to start work working. Now we can adjust the threshold like this. <laughs> Now we could use the same slope again, but we can also try using these. So these points, I can bend them down, or I can bend them up here, well maybe only down actually, because straight. I could add another point in here if I wanted to really exclude that, like this. So that way it's really not affecting these frequencies, but it should be affecting those. So let's hear that.
But one thing you might say is like, okay, it seems like it's kind of putting a blanket on there, so that may not be so good. So to get it a little bit more uh, dialed in for just those frequencies, what we're gonna do is we're gonna reduce the smoothness. So I'll move it up and down so you can see what's happening. And so if you listen to that, as I turn out the smoothness, it actually seems to bring a little bit of the high end there. Basically all it's doing is those sharp peaks, it's bringing those down, but the frequencies around it that aren't exceeding this threshold aren't touched. Basically, it's not EQing up here, it's just like reducing those peaks. That way the other frequencies can come through and they're untouched. So let's do that and what we can do is we can actually bring this up and maybe try bringing the ratio up as well. So we're just getting those peaks and reducing those while leaving the other frequencies alone. Like that. Now, of course, you can adjust this however you want. Uh, you may not want it down here so much. I might want to, you know, move it up here. So it's just getting more of the symbols if that's your problem. And of course, I'm using this on the whole mix, so I may not want to even bring it up this high or do this much, you know, actual <laughs> like uh, EQ work or actually threshold work in this case to get this precisely there. I would probably do this on the individual instruments themselves. So I might use in spectral dynamics on the drum kit or uh, maybe, I don't know, maybe my bass or a guitar, etc. Wherever you feel there's some kind of like nasty resonances that perhaps moving around, you can use this. If your resonances aren't moving around, say like in a snare drum or a cymbal, I might just EQ it there and that might be simpler. But when you feel like uh, there's some things that are kind of like like poking out when they move around, like maybe on my guitar when I hit a certain note, or uh, maybe here is where I would take care of that. And especially because sometimes in your mix, some things build up at certain fre frequencies when you hit a certain chord uh, with your guitar and your piano, those might get too loud. This is perfect for that. So hopefully I showed you how you can de-harsh your mix. I went into lots of detail on here. A lot of times you can just move the slope or just, you know, add a node here and just bring it down and that'll take care of it for you along with the threshold. But if you really want to get into it and really pinpoint those frequencies, this is how you do it. So if you like this, give me a thumbs up, leave me any questions and comments down below and check out all the other plugins at meldaproduction.com. Till next time, see you.